Smart Silo is an IoT device that will measure the liquid level in a tank. Most large silos are opaque, shielding them from light to prevent potential bacteria growth. Therefore, it is impossible to see inside the tank without opening it, which could be hazardous to the person opening the silo or to the contents that are inside the silo. This device will be able to communicate the current liquid level of the tank to the user. Smart Silo will use a distance sensor to monitor the liquid level. The distance sensor is external and provides the most crucial reading for our project. The sensor emits ultrasonic waves that reflect off the solid or liquid surface and return to the sensor. The sensor provides the time taken for the wave to leave and return to the device. To calculate the distance from the sensor to the tank, we use the time taken for the wave to leave and return to the device multiplied by the speed of sound and divided by two. We divide by two because we only need to know the distance between the sensor and the surface instead of the full distance traveled by the wave. The distance sensor is controlled by the microcontroller and provides its readings to the microcontroller for processing. The microcontroller will read sensor values and send them to the modem for transport to the cloud. The modem acts as a gateway to the internet and thus the cloud. The microcontroller can send the obtained sensor data through the modem to the cloud. The cloud is a database of readings received from the microcontroller. An application will be used to read the data stored in the cloud as well as perform analytics using the data. For the design, we chose to use the ATmega328PB as our microcontroller because the team is familiar with this specific microcontroller and it fulfills our needs. We will only be connecting one or two sensors and the modem to our microcontroller so it will not be overburdened. We chose to program the microcontroller using I2C because our advisor offered to provide us with a device that allows us to easily upload to the board using I2C. Our device will ideally work for indoor and outdoor applications, so we opted to allow for two different sources of power. One source is an onboard battery, and the other is constant power from an outlet. If the device is used indoors, the outlet method may be more useful. For an outdoor silo, the battery method would most likely be more beneficial than the outlet method. There are devices that perform this exact operation in wide use today, but most simply display the current reading or readings on a screen near the tank. With just the screen, there's no way to remotely monitor the tank. With Smart Silo, manual checking of the tank contents, either by opening the tank or viewing the screen is no longer necessary. Additionally, because Smart Silo uses cloud technology, the readings can be stored and used in analytics such as efficiency and prediction calculation. In addition, we plan for Smart Silo to be more cost efficient, but still as effective as the other devices in wide use today.